Hey guys, I'm getting ready to make a very simple, no bake protein dessert pie that I saw Kara Corey do. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. It takes four ingredients and then I'm gonna let you guys know what I think of this actual recipe. So I've got everything thrown into the bowl here. We're gonna use Walmart's plain Greek yogurt. We're going to use two, we're gonna use, sorry, one and a half scoops of the Whey Optima by Nutri-Key. This is my go-to whey protein. One packet of the Jell-O sugar-free pudding mix. We're doing a chocolate um, Oreo pie and then one Oreo crust. You can get the knockoff brand if you want to and we'll use that whole crust. And then with this Greek yogurt, there's two and a half scoops in here. So we've got two and a half scoops of Greek yogurt, a scoop and a half of the Nutra Key Whey Optima Protein, one packet of the Jell-O pudding mix. And so three ingredients in the bowl and my $5 blender. And here we go. So this is really thick. And all we're gonna do is put it into the pie crust and we're gonna put it into the refrigerator fr refrigerator, either until the afternoon or overnight. Um, the macros, and I'll confirm this, um, are 23 protein, I think 13 carbs and five fat, but it'll always be based on what you're gonna be using um, for your protein. So whey protein and there's eight slices so we're gonna try to get this smooth smooth as flat as possible all right this is what it looks like when you get it as even as possible I'm gonna refrigerate it and then let you guys know what I think all right guys the pie is done I had to eat some of the pie so let me show you what it looks like um, I put it in the fridge for at least six or seven hours, but um, let me show you. So I covered it with saran wrap, but we've been digging into it, needless to say. So here it is, very moist, very thick. It does have like that Greek yogurt kind of bite to it. I give it a seven out of 10 and maybe 7.5. I always do these point fives, but I think I'm going to try it next time with vanilla Greek yogurt so it's already flavored. Um, or maybe add a little bit more protein powder to cut down on that Greek taste bite. Um, but I like it. I'm definitely going to be trying this one. So if you guys make it, please let me know. Tag me in the photo or you know DM me on Instagram and let me know what you thought. But this is definitely one that you should give a try, especially if you're a macro counter, you need something sweet, you need to get your protein in some way, somehow. So I definitely recommend that you try this. So thank you, Kara Corey, for coming up with this amazing recipe. See you guys in the next video.